It was the job of this unassuming committee to pass the definitive judgment on the most divisive British war of modern times, and the chairman delivered a central damning verdict. We have concluded that the UK chose to join the invasion of Iraq before the peaceful options for disarmament had been exhausted. Military action at that time was not a last resort. Military action in Iraq might have been necessary at some point, but in March 2003, there was no imminent threat from Saddam Hussein. That war will always be his legacy, but what does the report say today on three specific questions? Did he do a secret deal with President Bush? At George Bush's Texas home in April 2002, the report says Tony Blair offered the president a partnership to deal urgently with Saddam Hussein, but it does not say there was any secret arrangement. Later that year, Tony Blair sent the president this note, kept classified until now, saying he would be with the president whatever. The report says that note made it very difficult for the UK to withdraw support for US action. Did he lie about weapons of mass destruction? The report says there's no evidence number 10 improperly influenced the text of the infamous WMD dossier, so no sexing up. But when Tony Blair presented the information, for instance, to Parliament... His weapons of mass destruction programme is active, detailed and growing. It says he deliberately selected information to reflect what he believed rather than the intelligence judgments. Was the war legal? The report says it's not part of its brief to declare on the legality of the war, but it does say the way the Attorney General, Lord Goldsmith, decided it was legal was far from satisfactory. And it also says the way Britain abandoned a second UN resolution while pushing for war undermined the United Nations. In the absence of a majority in support of military action, we consider that the UK was in fact undermining the Security Council's authority. Today, an older and it seemed at times emotional Tony Blair went further than ever before in apologising for what happened. I feel deeply and sincerely in a way that no words can properly convey the grief and suffering of those who lost ones they loved in Iraq. For all of this, I express more sorrow, regret and apology than you may ever know or can believe. Over almost two hours, he accepted there were real criticisms on planning and preparation. But facing the media, he defended his decision. I can look not just the families of this country, but the nation in the eye and say, I did not mislead this country. I made the decision in good faith on the information I had at the time, and I believe that it is better that we took that decision. I acknowledge all the problems that came with that decision. I acknowledge the mistakes and accept responsibility for them. What I cannot do and will not do is say I believe we took the wrong decision. Tony Blair! Shame on you! Tony Blair! Shame on you! But they do not believe that decision was taken in good faith, and this report has only sharpened their condemnation.